Live Long, Die Short, A Guide for Authentic Health and Successful Aging is a book uh, I've spent the last year writing. It has been a journey of discovery for me. Although I'm a preventive medicine physician and have been one for over 35 years, uh, this process uh, and the research that was necessary to write it has been a learning experience. And what I've learned probably more than anything is that to be well is, is, has to be defined in much broader terms than what we currently do define. We, we have lived uh, for most of the, as a species, we have lived most of our time in small groups and in villages. And the characteristics of that environment were one where, where people, well, it, certainly there was diet and what we ate was different, but what we, what we, re, what we nur the, the nurturing that came from the environment where we were, where everyone had a role, there was a social compact that I'll help you and you help me. And it was an environment that, that had greater purpose than just the individual. That those sort of things seem to be basic human needs that we have that go beyond just what we usually consider uh, as part of being well and being healthy. So these basic human needs of movement, uh, the kind of diet that we eat, which uh, I think more and more we're beginning to realize relative to fruits and nuts and, uh, and less fat and not the diets that we have today, but one that goes back more to our ancestors. And this feeling of being part of a community, a community that uh, nurtures our own growth is critically important to health. So I think that part, and the part that, as, uh, the, the part that I learned the most about is that we as Americans tend to take off too much when we decide we're going to change. We bite off too much. It's the New Year's resolution part of, of changing. And that is just a, a program, that's programmed to fail. Uh, and change has to be in small steps. And this book is about understanding what we need to be healthy, it's about taking uh, an assessment to see where you are. It's about 10 steps to age in a more, in a, in a more successful way and be authentically healthy. And it's a challenge to us as a society, as individuals and as organizations and as a society to begin to focus on those things that we truly need to be healthy. Live Long, Die Short, a guide for authentic health and successful aging has been an experience for me and I certainly hope it is for the reader.